It seems like P. Diddy got a thing for these light-skinned brothers. Music producer Rodney Jones, aka Little Rod, has just sued P. Diddy for sexual misconduct. And what's so interesting about this lawsuit, it got big name people in here like Cuba Gooden Jr., Chris Brown, Meek Mills, and others. Check out this report, drop me a comment, hit the like, and subscribe to the channel. Check it out. I'm looking down at the 73-page complaint that was filed yesterday. In terms of allegations of celebrities, we're talking about Cuba Gooding Jr. being shown through still photos of what the complainant says they have videos of, of groping him. And also, if you look to the complaint here, there's a few Easter eggs here where it says the rapper redacted on Mr. Combs' yacht consorting with underage girls uh, and sex workers. And you look down to the redaction, it says, well, the person is a Philly rapper who dated uh, Nicki Minaj. I think that may be Meek Mills. It also says an R&B singer redacted in Mr. Combs' Los Angeles home consorting with underage girls and sex worker. When you go down to the redaction, it says he's a Grammy Award winning R&B singer who had trouble with law enforcement after assaulting a Bayesian billionaire. I don't know who's a billionaire from Barbados that we know that dated someone. That sounds like Chris Brown. So there's a lot of big names here here, both as Easter eggs and also just on the front pages of these allegations. Wow, just huge. Now, the lawsuit also claims the misconduct happened during the creation of Diddy's latest album, The Love Album, and is seeking, as we've mentioned, $30 million. Uh, the suit not only names a mogul, but includes his son and Universal Music Group, claiming there is an alleged RICO enterprise to enable his misconduct. Explain why the lawsuit goes beyond Diddy and what's kind of at stake here. This along with Cassie's uh, lawsuit that you talked about earlier that was settled reads a lot like what we saw in the R. Kelly case in the EDNY where they're talking about this being a criminal enterprise that's all feeding towards this one individual's uh, depravity of wanting drugs and sex and rock and roll, roll and everything in between that everyone seemed to know and go out and facilitate what Sean Diddy Combs wanted. Even in part of these allegations or these complaints they call his chief of staff the Ghislaine Maxwell to P. Diddy's uh, Jeffrey Epstein saying that this is a total sexual enterprise to feed into uh, his desires. Wow, P. Diddy, you, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't think P. Diddy gonna get up out of this one. We got another Bill Cosby. We got another R. Kelly going on here. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this latest fiasco.